Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa Another. Now I know what you're thinking, um, aren't you supposed to be posting in Aiden's garden again? Yes, but because I am doing that let's play with another person, I cannot post more episodes until I get together with said person and record them. And we just haven't done it yet. <laughs> I've literally seen her multiple times since the first recording session we had and I just haven't felt like it. I've been like, let's do other stuff. Let's go ice skating. And we did that instead. Um, we will finish it at some point. Um, but I wanted to have something to post today. So I'm recording this on Sunday night. Woohoo. Anyways, last episode, what did we even do? I think we got the motive and it was super weird. It was like porn or something. And then I think we hung out once with Tsurugi and I think we are getting to the point where someone is going to die soon. I assume this episode. It also might just be like, let's do 30 more free time events at which I will probably scream, but whatever. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's try going to bed. See if that does anything. It's still a long way till nighttime, but I think I can sleep even if I lie down because I'm tired. Oh, it's a free time event. Oh, I am not happy with that. Hello? Hello? I just teleported. Huh? How did I go from my room to here? I'm so confused. Am I, am I hallucinating? Am I gonna come out? Somewhere else. Somewhere. I guess we can go find Sarugi. Um, maybe he's in the library. I did not remember that we were supposed to be doing free time events. This has to be the last one. Oh no, it's just you, Buff Man. Where is Sarugi? There he is. I've been looking for you, sir. Here you go. Here's some. Um, I got some handcuffs for you, because you probably also like this. This, oh, I really like it. Even if you give me something like this, is it okay? Sorry, that was my bad. Thank you, I'll cherish it. This makes me feel better when things go well. He really liked it. And we're back to Korean. I think this is free time number four. Yiki, are you for spending time with me? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, I told you that story last time, and now it's fairly evident that everyone sees me as a tyrant. Not that I care, though. No need to worry about that. People can find it hard to agree with your logic, but that's just one aspect of you as a person. I'm sure you have plenty of others. I won't hesitate to sacrifice a few people without regard for their relationship to me if that will save many others. Even if you try to be my best friend, you might end up in those few. Hey, I can't see anything more if you want to be that straightforward. But you're trying to keep us as safe as you can, right? Isn't that what you really want? Yes, I truly want it from my heart. The police serve to protect people from danger, after all. I don't want to sacrifice anyone either. Abandoning one thing for another should be a last resort. In a perfect world, I would be able to protect everyone at no cost. But that's not the world we live in. To protect one thing, we must give up on another. That's why my dream is to be a policeman that can bring my vision of a perfect world into reality. That would make the world a much better place to live. Yeah. If I can continue to keep everyone safe and word of my fervors, be it reds even to criminals, someday people might cease to commit crime. But I'm too far away from that dream right now. There's nothing I can do on my own and I can't protect everyone without making sacrifices. I'm still dwelling on those rules I established for that specific purpose. But it was the best I could do. It had to be done. Even if you're a reconstruction that split the whole group apart? Mm. I'm a normal person with no special talents, so I believe you know better than me when it comes to these issues. But, are you sure that this is really for the best? A large group is already hard to control. 
You knew that, right? It only becomes more difficult with those who aren't willing to cooperate. Surugi, can't you follow your own judgement rather than sticking to a fixed set of beliefs? It's impossible. This is not a child's play. If anything goes wrong, innocent lives will be lost. You can't trust yourself? It's the opposite. I trust myself too much. And for that reason, my actions should be determined solely by these beliefs. To never repeat the same mistake again. What mistake? Nothing. It's not something I would be proud to tell others. Surugi, aren't we friends? Maybe not friends, but classmates? Yeah, I wouldn't call this a normal school year, but we are still classmates. You said your goal is to protect everyone, but have you ever thought this way? Maybe you're blinding yourself with that goal, and because of it, you're turning yourself against those you swore to protect. What do you mean by that? I don't want to be too nosy, but... If you really want us to protect everyone, have some more trust in us. Sorry, that's about all I can say to you right now. But I still think of you as my friend. I'm sure all the others think the same. While I'm thankful that you're trying to protect us, I think living up to our expectation is equally important. I can't quite put it precisely in words. <laughs> Okay, Yuki, I'll think about it. Oh, I feel a little tired, so I need to get some rest in my room. Uh, okay, go rest. Did I talk too much? I tried to get him to open up to us, but it didn't seem to have worked. I'm sure we'll become closer friends if he can just let go of that way of thinking. I walked with Tsurugi to his room before bidding him goodbye. Oh, Kurokawa. Did you say to be weary today? Is it alright to move now? Yes. Oh, thank god. But... You came out of your room after a long time, so it's already late this night. I guess you'll have to go back in. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to go to the dormitory? Let's go together. I'm about to go back right now. Are we going to discover someone? Yes. We're going we're gonna to discover a body together. That's awkward. Even though her response has been notable, she's like a kid who doesn't speak any more than she should. Compared to the general public. Oh, that's right. Hey, Kurokawa. Secret note that was the last motive. That was also a mix of lies, right? Another reason I'm convinced that the ridiculous note that I know the mastermind is a lie is because of your note. Oh, uh, right. I'm sorry about opening the note. I was just really curious about it. You probably won't forgive me after saying to stop us. Really, sorry. The details don't really matter. Y you sure? And then you can tell me if it's okay. You seem to know best if the note is a lie or not. Well, of course you don't have to talk if you don't feel like it. It's probably a lie if I ask someone else if they know about me. I wouldn't talk about it. That note is... Oh. Kurkawa, what is it? My head. It hurts again. Oh, don't worry about it. After all, it would be better to take a break in the rooms today. Now let's go in quickly. You don't need to talk today. Yeah. Huh, what are they doing? <coughs> Someone's dead. Someone's dead. What? Why is someone screaming? <sighs> Kurokawa? Damn, what happened? I have to check. It's a Tyra? What's going on now? That. Is that blood? Black and. Mina Kurokawa, don't be dazed, Tyra. Stop! Let. Me. Go! What happened? Wake up already. Well, Tyra, she slit her wrists with scissors. What? You tried to kill yourself? 
I'm going to die. A trash like me must die. I want to die. Don't disturb me. Ugh, what kind of strength is this? Let go, Maya. Let go of me. Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to kill yourself, Tyra? I'm going to Ayame Chan's side. But what? I have to go to Ayame Chan and apologize. I just can't be alive anymore. Don't be ridiculous. It's been four days already since, ha since Hatano died. What are you saying? I saw Ayame Chan in the video yesterday. She was blaming me. Ayame Chan died because of me. Hatano appeared in the Desire video? That stupid Monokuma. He's trying to play with us like this. Calm down, Tyra. There's no way Hatano blames you. That video was manipulated by Monokuma. No. Ayame Chan is blaming me. She said that even if I die, she wouldn't forgive me. I have to go to the other side and apologize to Ayame Chan. There's no other way. Damn it, it doesn't work no matter what I say to her. She's completely ruined. What should I do in this situation? Maida, move away. Ooh, this is the Kirigiri theme. <laughs> Wake up, Akane Tyra. Don't you know why Hatsuno died? Hatsuno's last words. The words that she delivered to you. You remember them, right? L last words? I want you to live. You do not understand the meaning of those last words she left to you at all. Hatsuno died to save you, but if you commit the act you're about to do, what do you believe that means to Hatsuno? After talking about this, are you still in conflict? Was this the kind of person you always were? Tell me, Akane Taira. Uh, Mikako-chan? Akane Taira is not that kind of person. You are... You are so much more, Taira. Mikako-chan? Uh... Oh no! Kurokawa? Uh, Mikako-chan? What's wrong? Wake up! Why did she collapse? We gotta get her out of here. Come to think of it, she said she wasn't feeling well today. Don't you think this happened because she was pushing herself again? Anyway, let's move Mikako-chan to her private dorm as soon as possible. Suddenly, Kurokawa collapsing. We left Tyra behind and put Kurokawa back on her private bedroom. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm so sorry. I guess I was out of my mind. How Ayumi-chan saved my life. I was trying to throw it away. That's not enough. I even bothered you guys, too. I'm really sorry for being a burden. To everyone. Sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Tyra, because everyone understands your feelings. That's right. I could have killed myself too. You idiot, how's that any comforting? Well, that was pretty scary. Don't do that again. Hey, what about before? You said we shouldn't say what we saw in our motives. Is that okay now? Doesn't seem like anything though. Well, I don't think we shouldn't worry too much. That's right. Even so, everyone who isn't here will be happy to see our grown up Tyra. Yes, I'm really sorry, and thank you. And, um, it's already been four days. Maybe it's too late, but I'll try hard again. I hope you can all accept me once again. Of course, no one blames you, so don't worry. And it's nighttime, and no one's dead yet. This chapter is very long. Oh, it's nighttime. Go to bed. Mm, restaurant's being locked in. You gotta go to sleep, please. We gotta get this plot moving, baby. Oh, time has already slipped by. I I'm sorry. I wasted your time on me for nothing. Tyra, you don't need to keep apologizing, okay? It's not like you at all. 
You're not such a timid girl. I mean, the kind of Tyra that we know is positive, and she always had a bright face, too. Oh, alright. Okay, hey, guys, it's already nighttime, so then let's go to bed now. Agreed. I'm a little anxious because of the motives, but we can all gather together tomorrow to talk. Let's call everyone, even Kendra, Makaru, and Uihara. Yeah, Sasaki has feeling sleepy already. Okay, everyone, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Little did I know someone would die. Tyra finally made up her mind. Her guilt and regrets for Hatsuna will not be forgotten in her memory for a lifetime. Still, even so, Tyra is trying to move forward. That kind of action can never be done if you're on your own. But because Tyra is with everyone, she is able to regain her spirit. Now then, let's go to bed early today. Fortunately, it's not too late because a murder didn't happen after the motive came out as usual. Even if it's difficult for tomorrow, we'll all get back our spirit little by little. I wonder if Kurokawa will be alright. I guess we'll know at tomorrow's breakfast. Today? Oh, I'm getting sleepy. Before we parted, I briefly explained to Tyra about Hatano's post-class trial. Let's sleep peacefully tonight. Oh right, about Kurokawa's secret note. Mikako Kurokawa may actually be talkative. Hmm. Maybe that's... maybe it is true. Nice. I'm relieved that Tyra managed to wake herself up from her mind. Of course, this is not the end yet. The fact that we are in Hopespeak Academy has not changed. We have to find a, way, find a way out somehow. And with those thoughts, I fell asleep fast. And someone died. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Ooh, wake up! Ooh, wake up! Ah, <sighs> morning. First, let's go to the dining room. I'll be with them for breakfast this morning. Who's here? Oh, Satsuki is here. Oh, my heart like sinks every time I go in that she's not going to be there. Hello, Nidikin. Hello, you arrived early. In the dining room, there's a bright Tyra smiling. Yeah, did you guys sleep well? The latest to Claire is getting lightly again, but I'm feeling way better than yesterday. I'm always in a happy mood here. I wonder what's up with the others. They haven't come yet. They might have come too soon. It's just seven time. Is that so? Then let's wait until we all gather together. Oh boy. It's always hard to wake up early in the morning. Kabashi Kawaka, good morning. Stara, oh right, you feel all better now? Kai Tyra feels like she got a complete resurrection, huh? It's gotta be. Seeing Tyra's bright smile and starting the day like this gives you a lot of energy. That's a complete black heart. It's not. All I'm saying is that I'm happy that my colleague returned to normal is all. The other guys aren't here yet. Yeah, but it's a little bit different. Kanata-chan was always at the restaurant before me. Oh no, not Kanata. I mean, I didn't think she was gonna survive, but I'm gonna be really sad if Kanata's dead. Little and the others will be happy to see Tyra smile but once again. She was so cute, and also I really like doing her voice. It's really easy. Oh yeah, today I have a suggestion for you guys. I'll say it once again, but once everyone comes, Suggestion? Yeah, after breakfast, Kinjo, Makaru, and Uihara will gather together to discuss with us. A meeting about what? I don't really like those other guys. Well, when Maki was still alive, Kinjo gathered everyone and made an intermediate report. This time, the motives already came out, so I'd like to gather everyone for opinions. Oh, I see. Maidaka, that's amazing. I recall Kinjo doing those meetings. I haven't seen that in a hot minute. It's because not long ago, he was neglected by saying things no one supported. But we can't do that anymore. It's all in the past, isn't it? I mean, we believe in Maida now. Well, it certainly seems that Tyra has regained some vitality in her eyes. Since we have such a bright person like her, it must have conveyed onto everyone that positivity. By the way, it's getting late for the others. Um, what time is it now? Around 
Is this simply over worrying? I mean, they're human, so there may be times that this could happen, but what's this anxiety? I'll try to be more patiently. I'm sure I'll be here soon. I don't even care. I'm just like Sasuke is here and she's alive and she is with us. Amen. Yeah, okay. Who cares who dies? She is still okay. And if she's still with us right now, then maybe she's not part of the double murder. The relief I just felt like seeing her in the room when I walked in is immeasurable. I care too much for her. No, this is absolutely not over worrying. Even if I'm wrong, something is not right. Everyone in the dining room gradually began to notice that detail. Uh, it's getting late. It's already eight o'clock. What in the world happened? Let's stand still for a moment. Who isn't here yet? Kenja, Makaru, Uihara, Kurakawa, Yamaguchi, and Nino. You don't have to mention Kenjo. It's already 8 a.m. and no one's calm yet. Oh, Mikako's safe. I'm sorry for being late. Mikako-chan, is your health okay? Yes. But it's been a while. I was too late. I'm sorry. Kurokawa, have you seen anyone besides us when you came here? Huh? What happened? Here. I Mikako-chan, mean, don't you think it's weird? You came this late, but we're the only ones that arrived in the dining room. Huh. Hey, is it okay if we keep waiting like this? Something seems off. Isn't it better if we go and find the others? Yeah, I agree. We should look. Yeah, then let's start by looking for Yamaguchi and Inori first. Is it gonna be Yamaguchi? But he's buff. He has to die next chapter. Somehow this feeling, it's like, it feels like, it's feeling like something, it's a feeling that seems like everything is already too late. Inori, are you inside? If you are, please answer me. This is weird, Yamaguchi's silent too. I don't think both of them are in their rooms. Where'd they even go at this time? If it's not the dormitory, let's check the school. I think it's best to hurry. Yeah, Kurokawa was right. Guys, let's go find them on the school side. I try not to let this anxiety get over myself and decided to stay calm and look for them in the school with everyone. Clearly they're in the bathroom, again. <laughs> it's gotta be third floor. Okay, new area. You find anyone yet, buddy? Well, there seems to be no one on the first floor. I think it would be better to go to the second floor. No, see, they're gonna be on the third floor because we just got that this chapter and it's always someone dies in a new area. It's a whole gimmick, right, Satsuki? I heard someone screaming on the second floor. Was Satsuki wrong? Was Lizzie wrong? What? No! No! I wake hard, I wake up. No, don't be dead. No, I like you. We hard, how did this happen? Ida, I don't really know myself. I came to the second floor and Uihara was down on the floor like this. It hasn't done the it hasn't done the CG thing. I think he's still alive. Well, that's this. Well, Uihara, you're dead. He's still breathing, yeah. Ugh. Oh no. Oh no, it just hit me. This game is very similar to the first one, right? <sighs> this is exactly what happened with Celeste. She pretended to be injured and it was her. It's gonna be him. It's him, he's gonna kill someone. Damn it, I liked him. It's total, it's, that's what's happening. That's what's, I, uh, I, totally. Iliahara, are you okay? Th this is what happened to me. Hey, Iliahara, what happened to you? 
Why did you get hurt like this? Ugh. I was definitely heading to the library last night. Does anyone know what time it is now? Well, it's been roughly, I think it's around 8.15. Ellie Harkin, let's wipe the blood first. Here's a handkerchief. Oh man, I'm so upset right now. I think that's what's happening. Thank you. By the way, Tyra, it seems you're getting better. Are you okay now? Uh, yes. Some thanks to the others, I made up my mind somehow. We can talk about that later. More importantly, what the hell happened here? Noihara, who did this to you? I'm sorry, I do not know either. I remember walking towards the library at night, but suddenly I felt a pain in my head from behind. I can't remember. Uh, that means someone attacked Uihara? No, no one attacked him. No, because the freaking... The freaking, like, area, the, 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 not, not nurse's office, but you know what I mean. Like, the medical area opened up. And it, in the first game, remember, they had, like, the fake bags of blood, and that's how Celeste faked being attacked. I'm, I'm sure that's what just happened. It's, ugh. No, I didn't want him to die. This, I mean, I didn't think he'd survive, but I don't want him to be a killer. He was so funny. He didn't know what a phone was. Well, I guess, but attacking like this is enough to stun someone. Doesn't mean a kill. Yeah, this wasn't a kill attempt. But this could mean that a tragedy is ha about to happen again. A motive breaks someone's mind and enforces the worst act to try to and commit a murder. Wait, where are the others? Where's Kinjo, Makaru, Inori, and Yamaguchi? What? This sounds like... I heard it on the third floor. Yeah, because it's a new chapter, they're gonna be on the third floor. Third floor? Something else happened upstairs? <sighs> Damn it, what should I do? I haven't properly checked the whole second floor yet. And I am worried about Uihara's condition. He's fine. He's the one who killed them. He's fine. You guys, are you looking for the others who didn't arrive at morning's breakfast? Like, how does he know that? Yeah, I'm not sure about Kinjo, but we can't see Inori or Yamaguchi. What happened? Maybe it has something to do with the sound on the third floor. I'll help you guys too. Please let me join in your search. But Uihara, aren't you hurt? Will your body handle it? Mr. Grey won't be an issue. It's just a slight bump on the back of my head. There's no problem at all. Oh, you said you didn't see Nori. In that case, I need Nori's ability to get to the appropriate treatment, so finding her remains the same objective. She's gonna be dead, because then she can't be like, hey, you faked an injury, I'm a doctor. Because he killed her. I really hope I'm wrong, but like... I've played enough games to know. <laughs> That's true. What the hell is that noise? It's terrifying. I don't know what it is, but I think I should move it quickly. And let's divide in two groups. One group will investigate the third floor. The other will investigate the second floor. Yeah, I think that would be good. Then I'll stay in the second floor and investigate. We'll stay on the second floor too. I kinda am scared of that sound or whatever it is. And I'll be in the third floor group. I'll stay on the second floor. The second floor is wider than the third, so wouldn't it need more people? I'll stay on the second floor too. You're all cowards. And the rest are going to the third floor with me and Dumihara. Maida, come to the third floor with us. I didn't get to say anything, but I feel pretty determined. Well, it doesn't matter. Now, er somehow, we have to quickly secure everyone's status on each room and identify who attacked who we He attacked himself. If it's decided, then let's move. I feel uneasy about something. If you find the others, come down here and let us know. Be careful, everyone. I decided to go up to the third floor with Kurokawa and Uihara following around. Along. Who's it gonna be? It's it's <laughs> Yamaguchi. He's just working out. He's just so buff. It's shaking the whole school. Come to the third floor. I see from here clearly. It's in the art room. It certainly is. So what are we doing? In addition to the art room, 
I'll have to do a survey elsewhere. Then shall we act separately here? I'll take a look into that room. You guys have a look somewhere else? It doesn't matter, but be careful. Maybe the person who attacked me could be here. Honestly, I don't want to believe it that it is one of us. But we already experienced it twice. The people you've been living with, they try to kill each other. I'll be okay. Just check what the sound is. Now then, let's move. Hmm, the origin of the sound is here. It seems to me that no one has found it yet. Well, let's first find out what that sound really is. It's the statue. It's the trash can. Damn it. It's the statue of a pitchfork. Maybe it's in the- There's no doubt. Oh, it's a Chuichi! He's in the locker! There's no doubt. This loud sound is coming from inside the locker. He's like, let me out! An unknown sound in the fear. But more than that, the curiosity. I wanted to see who was inside of it. And it, when I opened the door of the locker, there was... Shuichi Saihara. R Ray? Are you good? At least she's alive. Hmm. Makaru? She was in a state where the usual neat and refined look was off. Hair was loose and the glass was loose and the glasses were sprawled and her whole body was bound. That loud sound was made by Mekaru? Why are you like this? Who did this? Not only that, Mekaru is bloody. At first I thought she was like Uihar, but then I, I looked closely. It looked like this blood wasn't coming from Mekaru. It was from the bloody cloth that was buried inside the locker. <laughs> ah, okay. I'll release you now. So don't move too much. Mekaru, what happened here? Before that, give, you your, give me your right hand. Uh, okay. Come on, shut up and quickly show me your right hand. I couldn't tell why, but I pressed my right hand on Mekaru's hand without delay. Mekaru took a while, rubbing her right hand with my own and observing it for something. <sighs> it's not you either. Mekaru, why did you need my right hand? Nothing you need to know. More importantly, incompetent, tell me what time it is and what's uh, the current situation right now. What? She's incarcerated while being bound by someone, and she's asking about the situation as if it's normal for her. Well, it's her, so I guess it's not so random. Is it gonna, is it gonna be her? No, I don't think... Hmm. Why is she bound up? Did she do it to herself? I don't think she did it to herself, because she's like asking to feel his hand. So she's trying to figure out who did it to her. Uh, I think it's roughly 8.25 right now. We got together for breakfast, but a few people were unusually late, and we began to start looking for them. Apparently your game is you, Akane Taira, Haruhiko Kubashikawa, Turuga Oturi, Sotsuke Uranami, Mikako Kurokawa, Kanata Inori, and Kakuro Yamaguchi, was it? Yes. Who else was missing? In the group we were having breakfast, but Inori and Yamaguchi were missing. And then we found Uihara on the second floor. Kenjo is also still missing. Hmm, the doctor and lawyer. Also, if I may ask, Mekaru, what happened to you? I never expected you to be in such a situation. Shut up! Forget everything you saw. It's embarrassing. Yeah, it was definitely my fault. I didn't realize I was going to be targeted so sudden. You were attacked? By who? Well, you'll find out too soon who it is. The one who dared to touch me. I'll leave them with the greatest regret in their life. And what's this bloody locker about? This blood isn't from you, right? You don't know. Hey, we don't have the time to be chatting. But I had the situation from you. I believe this is the very climax minute. I'm going to investigate. Okay. Macro, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Darn it, what the hell is going on? Well, at least I've confirmed that Macro was safe, so let's go find the others. I have a bad feeling about Kanata and Yamaguchi. Mikuru, hang on a second. Oh, what else do you want? I don't have the luxury to talk to you right now, you hear me? Can't you figure out the situation already? That's not it, I just wanted to know what you were doing last night. Well, I know how stupid you are, but if you don't feel sorry for your friend's life, then you don't mind running around and talking to me right now. Oh, what does that mean? A life? I would... No way. 
was uncertain in my voice, but in my mind I fully understood word by word. Uihar being attacked by someone, Mekru imprisoned, and a bloody locker. The puzzle was completed with all the conditions to set the worst possible outcome. And right after that... <coughs> oh no... What is this? Someone scream? Maida. Mekuru. I found one. Kurukawa. Hmm, so it seems you encountered some problems. Definitely. Please, help me. To the science lab. You need help? Why in the science lab? Looks like something happened. Oh, who's it gonna be? Oh... Since it's an emergency, I'll help you out. Move. Yes. Kirikov's complexion didn't look so good. And that made me even more anxious. I really wonder what's going on. What's happening in the science lab? Could it be related to that scream earlier? Mario, you're here. Looks like you found Mekuru, too. I want to ask about what happened, about that sound, but for now we have a bigger issue on our hands. Also, as you may have guessed, Kurokawa went to the casino and I tried to investigate the science lab, but the door wouldn't open. I heard a scream in the science lab while trying to open the door. Maida, help us here. The four of us joined forces and pushed the door of the science lab, but it didn't even budge. It felt different from simply being locked with a padlock. It was as if something was blocking the door. can't. It's not moving at all. Well, what do we do? Should we go back with the others? On the second floor? We heard a scream in here. Are we just going to leave it at that? We can't just give up. <coughs> Another scream. Who is who is it and what's going on in there? That sound. Can you hear it? When, we, when I listened to Kurokawa's words and focused on the sounds of the science lab made, I heard a strange and unusual sound. This is a water sound, isn't it? Water sounds like something is flowing when I hear it. Oh, well, what do we do if the door doesn't open? Is it all in vain? Hey, come here for a minute, you people. My crew pointed and looked closely at the blurry window on the door of the science lab. You stupid fools, the sliding door is blocked with something from the inside. It'll never open. I thought it was weird, but I also thought that something was wrong. They blocked it with something? Are you saying the inside is closed? But then it would be even more difficult to open the door. That's not going to happen. As Mikru said that, she then raised her elbow to the door of the science lab to break the window. Mekru, are you sure you can do that? Is it not considered vandalism? It's okay, the vandalism is caused by force. Majeure, which evolves in the incident. In Monokuma's office, it is. As she said that, she put her arm inside the broken window, shoving the thing that was blocking the door. Can't you do something simple as this, incompetent once? Now it's unlocked. Open it. See who's dead. Like Mekru said, the door to the science lab opened with a sound. And the first thing we discovered was... It's gonna be Kanata. What is this, water? When I opened the door to the science lab, a lot of water flowed from the inside. The inside was full of water when we entered the room. It was in a watery state, so... That at least your ankles were submerged. The water in the science lab... Is... What's going on? When we were trying to check the state of the room... Huh? Don't go in! Stay away from the water! Mekru shouted urgently in a serious mood, and I unknowingly stood up away from the water pit on the science lab. Why, Mekru? There's wires or something. This is how they ended up. If you're curious, look inside the science lab. You'll understand what I mean. Oh no, were they electrocuted? Both of them? Mekru's voice sunk, like it was subdued. When Mekru, who is usually hard to beat, makes a voice like this, it can only mean when she witnesses someone's death. Oh man. Being careful not to be touching the water pit, quietly I moved my gaze into the science lab. The scenery that came into my view from there. It was horrifying. It was utter despair.
Oh, it was her. Oh no, she was electrocuted. That's so painful though. Her whole body is tied up and burns out. The body of Kanata Inori, the ultimate surgeon. It was an unbelievable despair. Oh, baby. Where's Yamaguchi, though? This is a lie, right? Why is Inori? Why is she... I couldn't accept that scene in front of my eyes. But as soon as I was able to face reality by a sense. It was like a grilled squid, but the smell was even more nauseous. The smell of burning flesh. Ugh. Unbelievable. Nori. It felt like a dream scene. Because Inori, who was smiling brightly with us until yesterday and talking to us, became like this. Inori, who was so kind to us. As a doctor, Inori, who worked very hard to take care of everyone's health. It was then that the sound reminded me that this was our reality. Oh, body's been discovered after a certain amount of time has passed, but the last trial will begin. Shoot, dude. The body discovery announcement. That means there's zero possibility that she's alive. Kanato Inori is dead. Why? Why? Who the hell would do this? Why, you ask? It's only natural. I don't know who yet, but there's a person who wants to get out of here by any means. This is nonsense. Leaving us so suddenly. There wasn't even time to save her. I'm really sorry, Inori. Even so, the body was found. Why don't we start searching? We need to prepare. Prepare, search. See, and even discovering the body, there's four people, so... He could very well not. He could very well be the killer. It's starting again. Uh, class trial. That's right. We have to face this terrible despair once again. If we cannot identify the culprit who killed Inori, then we will all face punishment due to the class trial's reckless rules. Did you mention that the rest of the people are downstairs? They must have hit the BDA, so they'll come here soon. If you don't want to die, get ready to investigate. Yes, there's no time to even be sad. It was the same when Maki and Tamori died. Once again, we have to overcome sadness. We must overcome despair. However, this despair would not end with this. It was no ordinary despair. Oh, boy, he's about to go. Oh, no, it's Yamaguchi now. But he's buff. He he, he, he should die next chapter. Who is it? It's up to certain amount of time is past. The class trial will begin. Huh? Huh? That was... Isn't it a BTA again? No, something is wrong, right? And Ori's BTA just rang, right? Why is there another announcement? There's only one thing I can think of. This is quite unprecedented. What? What are you talking about? Kurokawa? Oh no, we're not with Satsuki. Oh no. My heart is racing. I have a bad feeling. We should join with the others on the second floor. What happened, I may already know. But until I check it out with my own eyes, I won't believe it. There's no way. Such a worse situation should never happen. Where is Satsuki? Tatira? Oturi? Maidekin? What's going on? What happened to you? There's blood. Tyra and Oturi appeared astonished in front of the library as they stood there. The front of the library was covered in blood. The huge amount of it and the bloody locker I saw in the art room, it all started to overlap a bit in my head. Obviously, Inori didn't have any noticeable trauma. The BDA ran twice. Tyra's party hasn't seen Inori's body yet. I'm so appalled. To me, who was desperate to know, Tyra quietly pointed at the library with a finger. Quietly, breathing deeply as to not indulge reason in my mind and opening the door to the library. No matter what I see here, 
I have to be prepared to open this door, and what I saw on the other side was... Without betraying my expectations, the despair in the library greeted me. Oh no! But you were buff! I'm not even mad because it's not Satsuki. Satsuki lives! Another chapter, maybe, unless she's the killer, which I severely doubt she would ever kill anyone. Lying in a pool of blood, as was the body of the ultimate lawyer, Kakuri Yamaguchi, greeting me. Damn. That was quick. Usually it's like when there's the double murder, it's more complex. Like you see him alive and then they will like randomly die. Duh. Duh, Ed. Maida. Maida Kuhn, wake up. Tyra? I think I've lost consciousness for a while because I watched so many shocking scenes back and forth. I was in front of Yamaguchi's dead body in the library, and there was Tyra in between. Hey, what's the situation right now? I was worried because you found Yamaguchi's body and you went silent. Sorry. Your party, who we went to the floor, third floor to investigate, came back and found Yamaguchi Kun's corpse, and now everyone else went to the infirmary to take care of Iwihara and Kinjo Kun. Kinjo? What's wrong with Kinjo? Did you guys find him? Oh, yes, I'll explain what happens. Our investigation on the second floor, our team found a pit of blood in front of the library while investigating the power room, the training room, etc. I went into the library, but Yamaguchi kun and Kinjo kun were both covered in blood, and they were both on the floor, too. Even Kinjo was covered in blood? Yes, at first I was surprised. I feared they both died, because the BDA ran twice, and I thought Kinjo died as well, and he was treated as a corpse count. That's not right. Another BDA ran because we discovered another body found by us. I heard they were talking about Khan and Chan. It's all too painful to lose so many friends in a single night. But we can't grieve now. I haven't started my investigation yet, but I'll come back to talk about it at the class trial soon. So let's do our best, Mitakum. We don't know who it is, but there's probably one of us who killed two of our friends. I couldn't even look at the body due to the shock of the death of Inori and Yamaguchi, and Tyra's eyes seemed full of solid determination, even though it was mixed with sadness. Tyra, you've gotten stronger. Eh? It's the same for all of you. You have to overcome the death of our friends. You guys are stronger than me, where I'm just shocked and trembling, Tyra. No, I'm not strong. That's a lie. But... What was said to me yesterday from Mikaka-chan made me realize what I had to do. I was saved by Ayuma-chan in exchange for her life, right? So I vowed that no matter what, I wouldn't die here. To be sure to survive here and to repay Ayuma-chan's wish. Tyra. Oh, don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean I'll go killing. It means that I want to escape with everyone together. I know, don't worry. However, surprisingly, while well, talking with Tyra, it seems my worries have calmed down a little. It feels like she could really get out of here someday if she worked together with us. I felt the same way. Yeah, by the way, everyone's late. You said they were treating Uihara and Kinjo. Uihara was fortunate enough that it was a light wound, but what about Kinjo? I didn't see him. That's... I'm not sure. He was unconscious, even after being taken into the infirmary. What? It looks like he got a big head wound. Besides, in this case, we had to take the role of Kanata-chan and apply the first aid by ourselves. This is bad enough situation as it is. Oh, so it's okay. Oh, they're here. Yeah. Oh, are you okay now, Maida? You looked pretty bad. Ah, uh, yes. Somehow. By the way, did you all know about the VDAs? Not only Yamaguchi in the library, but Inori on the third floor is also dead. That is so cruel for a girl. It is regrettable, but what has already happened is irreversible. So we have no choice in the matter. We have to find a killer in order to live. Uh, where's Kenjo Kim? Uihara seems to be fine now. Kenjo is still in a coma. There's no sign of him waking up, so we give him first aid and put him 
on the infirmary bed. I'm worried. But was the first aid effective? I thought it would be difficult because Inori was missing. Ah, uh, to be specific, I didn't do anything and Ochery was the one who applied it. I couldn't do it either, so I just organized the supplies and handed him over the first aid kit. That's a little surprising, Osrikun. You have more talent than we thought you had? Well, I can't tell if that's a compliment or an insult. Well, I've also sold medical products in the first place, so yeah, I have the knowledge. Look, no didn't worry, it's not even close. Two friends have died, and we have no choice but to investigate this. Some try to light them up the mood, as usual, to give us more energy. As much energy as possible. Thanks to it, the situation seemed to improve however little it could. Well, I heard they have gathered, so it's okay to show up. It's okay, so I don't mind with my friends. Not about a star. I'm okay. I really want to hit this bear real hard. You finally showed up, Monokuma. Why are you so late? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna jump right away and give it to you, but you guys made things even more complex. You tried to give it? Yes, the body was found, no. Two of them, two. Monokuma final, three one. It should not be given. Uh, three minus one? This time, there are two victims in particular, so I prepared two Monokuma files. 3 1 belongs to Yamaguchi Hoon, and 3 2 belongs to Miss Inori. Hey, does that number mean anything? For example, order of death? What? 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 How do you guess that? It would be fun to say that, but uh, it's not really in that sense. The number attached. The Monokuma files is based on all numbers gathered, and it is only one because. All the members are gathered in the current library. Oh, not all of them, because uh, Super Cop is missing. Kendo Kun is on a trip to Dreamland, so. You can't help it, sadly. What the? This toy's making the mood brighter for no reason. It's unfortunate that a murder happened in the morning, but. Well, that's why it burns more. Isn't that right? Well, then I'll be going on ahead and leaving the Monokuma file next to the other body. I hope you'll do your best for your Sakura's friends. <laughs> Now wait a minute. Even so, you don't think it's too much to say that the culprit killed two people? Huh? If the culprit murders this way, there could be many victims in the future. If they commit three or four murders, we will all die. Well, that sounds like it, but... That's what I wanted to ask, too. This situation was quite unexpected for me as well. If slaughter is allowed as a rule, a crazy person can continue to commit serial killings, right? Uh, well, that's the point, huh? I never really thought about that. Yeah, that's crazy. Y'all are completely irresponsible. It don't really matter if you're murder is an event, but can't be left out of the mystery, right? I'm not walking such thrilling and heart events as a sin, too. What? That doesn't matter at all. Just being exposed to the horror of murder makes someone crazy enough, but now you can be a serial murderer? Alright, alright, then a lot of to the school rules. It is forbidden to kill another person after an investigation has taken place, and they're gonna up to two people that Black and can kill. Now are we done yet? We should have raced up to two people. This can't be helped because this killer has already killed Yamaguchi Kun and Miss Inori. So two people will find Serial Plane is so much more fun that it can't be missed. How well, much do you like Serial Killings? This means that it was the same person who killed Kaferu Yamaguchi and Konata Inori. What do you mean? What I mean is that Criminal A kills Kakaru Yamaguchi and Criminal B kills Kanata Inori. However, looking at Monokuma's words, that possibility disappeared. Well, well, it looks so novel and interesting. Unfortunately, I can't allow that. Even if two cases happen at the same time, if the person who committed the first murder comes out, I will personally stop the second one myself. Well, even if there are two criminals, then it wouldn't just be one or two difficulties in the class trial. The overlapping of objects of murder converges to zero in the first place. Oh, whatever. You would ask me to do something about it, but what do you do? In the end, this is a game and you will play, we have to be blown the hell out of it. Well, this is how it really goes. You guys, please do your research. See you at the class trial. Eventually, as usual, Monokum only said what he needed to say and disappeared. As Monokum disappeared, there was a moment of silence in the library. 
Hey, you guys, I heard it earlier. You said that Tsurugi Kinjo was in a coma? Huh? Yeah. He's on the bed in the infirmary. So, what about Kinjo-kun, if he can't wake up for the class trial like this? I think Monokuma will handle that. It is a bit painful that a brain like Kinjo couldn't investigate and proceed to the trial. Idiots. You will soon come to the realization of you all who only depended on that second cop. What? I'll show you we can handle it. Is it right? Me and you guys have fundamentally different ways of thinking. As evidence of that, I've already completed the investigation of the library and about the body of Kakuru Yamaguchi. As for you guys, you only went to the infirmary, so what did you do? So what? Are you trying to brag about it? Oh, I'm worried about you getting in my way. Criminal, I don't know who you are. But you think you're pretty intelligent, aren't you? Aiming for Sarugi Kinjo. Now then, you better try your best. I'm going to the science lab, so don't disturb me. Yeah, I mean, he's looking at even more sus, considering the people who are missing are um, either dead or, like, injured or bound in some way. Like, he had the most minor of all the injuries. Like, Mekuru was freaking tied up and Sarugi's in a coma. Like, dude, be more subtle about it. He is honestly one of the smarter ones, though, so taking out the two smart characters kind of makes sense. Mekra left the library, and we nodded, facing each other. Everyone is the same with the pain of losing two of our friends. However, as always, you have to overcome it. If the criminal is uncovered in the class trial and survives this situation, we don't have to face the same end. It is natural that I want to sit down and feel sorry, but I have already experienced it twice. Again, we have to overcome it. Because... I have no choice but to. Because it must be done, we have to stay determined. Okay. First, let's summarize a basis for this case. This time, unlike the previous two incidents, there are two victims, and the places where the bodies were found were also quite distant. The library on the second floor and the science room on the third floor. Overall, there is a need for a large-scale investigation going back and forth between the second and third floors. About tools, I don't know yet, but as previous experience, the tailor may have procured tools, etc. from different places. As Mekuru said, Kinjo is very helpful in cases. It's embarrassing. Even if you ask Mekuru, I don't think she would answer any questions for us. No, I shouldn't give up just because we don't have Kinjo with us. We may wake up s he, he may wake up soon, and we must do everything we can without him. The investigation radius has been roughly organized. Then, as always, let's begin with the monocular files. The estimated time of death of the victim, Kakuru Yamaguchi, is about 8.40, found in the library, with a sharp cut from the back of the neck to the uvula. The weapon is presumed to be something sharp, with no other visible trauma. As usual, although it is about a chemo file with so little information, the time of death is 8.40, it was right after we found Inori's body. If so, Inori died before Yamaguchi. As it turns out, Inori was still screaming faintly when we were standing at the door of the science lab. She proves she was alive until then, and this means Inori and Yamaguchi were killed almost simultaneously in real time. It makes sense that they were murdered. No, hold on. Isn't that a little strange? It's a trap. Like, somehow, they got trapped and died, I think. When we opened the door to the science lab, only a large amount of water flowed out of the corridor, and there was no other person in it. Remotely murdered, was it? I haven't seen Inori's Monokuma file yet, so I won't be able to confirm it for sure, but Yamaguchi's intake is said to be something sharp, and there's a cut deep enough to cut the entire neck. But can this kind of wound be done remotely? But if this is what's called a real-time murder, maybe, there's a possibility that someone who's investigating the second floor pretended to find the body after killing Yamaguchi on the spot. Even with this kind of suspicion, I'm so rotten. But this is not a joke, so I have to rule out any kinds of scenarios. It was this kind of wound, and there was no other trauma involved, so it seems that this must have been an immediate death. This is what I can infer from the monochroma file so far. Well, for now, let's search the library and science lab, focusing on the monochroma file. And if we talk to the others, I might discover something too. Okay, I think this is a great place to stop it. I've been recording for about an hour now. Um, next uh, next episode will be just the entire investigation and then class trial part one of a question mark? 
will be the following episode. Because I know it's going to take a whole episode to do the investigation, just from the past two chapters. Um, yeah, I... Uh, I am so relieved that we get Satsuki for a little bit longer. I... I'm so sure it's Uihara, though. Like, I don't think there's any other possibility at this point. And I'm really upset about it, honestly, because I thought he was really funny. He gave me, um, he made me laugh. <laughs> so it's going to be sad to see him go, but I literally cannot see it being any other person. And I've been kind of accurate with my guesses. I don't know. I don't know. I just, he's really sus right now. I hope I, I hope to God I'm wrong, okay? Like, I want to be wrong here, but I think it's going to be a Celeste situation. That's just what my gut's telling me. And, um, with that being said, uh, make sure to like and subscribe, do a lot of fun stuff, comment, I do read every comment, and I cherish them all. And I will see you guys in the next episode for the investigation. Later!